Hey guys, it's Rocky here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. I am finally doing a Q&A and just remember if you are new here, thank you so much for joining my little family. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. So the next thing you have to do is just press that subscribe button, the like button and comment down below if you want to know a few more questions on my Q&A. Another exciting thing on my channel, guys, I have almost reached 200 subscribers and I will be doing a giveaway then. I'm so excited that, you know, people are clicking on the video and a lot of YouTubers take really long to grow on their YouTube channels. So I'm so excited that you guys are liking the content and liking the videos and commenting. Thank you so, so, so much. I really do appreciate it. And I love just communicating with you guys. So that's why I really did want to do this video today. I have been wanting to do it for the longest time. Every time I make a video, I actually say that. Well, I decided to match up the videos because I wanted you guys to also get a glimpse of like what I'm like and what my personality is like so you can match it up to the vlogs and all the other things I like to bring to you guys. I love doing a whole bunch of things on my channel and just so showing you guys what I want to show you for the week. And my ideas are always kind of up and down, but I really like coming up with these ideas. These are the videos that I'm always so excited to film. All right, so let's get on to the questions, guys. I've chosen questions from the site. It is 21 questions. It's a YouTube tag questionnaire online. I'll tag down some below. I've chosen so many different questions and I've chosen um, them in no specific order. I didn't want to pre-answer the questions. I wanted to answer them on the video, basically. So that's why I went with just picking a few good questions that I liked from each one of the questionnaires so that I could give you guys the most information possible. I do not know how many questions I'll be doing. I don't want to count them in case I want to cut a few in front of each other just so that it makes a little bit more sense or if I find a question that goes into another question I can just easily resift it back into the video. So let's get on with the questions. Alright guys so I'm going to do these questionnaires on my phone. The first question is are you rich? Definitely not. After I left high school, I was left financially alone. Obviously, I got the necessities, which I was very grateful for, like the roof over my head, free food, free water and lights, things like that, but no allowance. So I decided to go into retail and I did this, I think, the third month. I just decided to get a job and just start from there and see where it would go. But I ended up having an amazing two-year career in luxury retail and I absolutely love that. I think if you guys are wanting to get into that, I 100% advise. I was lucky enough to go into luxury retail and I believe that has a lot to do with like my CV and my interest for fashion. Um, they really do see those kind of things if they do like a little bit of a, a meeting with you or if they check out your CV, just write those things about yourself in there if you are looking for one of those luxury brands. Like I would also consider like brands like Nike and Adidas, like overseas international brands to be more luxurious like edgars they don't really pay as well as a luxury retail career so let's get on to the next question are you named after anyone um yes me and my twin brother are named after a family friend next question where is your dream vacation and where is your dream destination for a vacation i would say bali i love the thought of just white sand blue beaches and a fabulous umbrella and a fabulous chair just all about relaxation but i can only do that kind of vacation for like three days and then after that i'm over it like i need to come back to the city and of course our south african beaches i love our south african beaches by the way my favorite south african beach definitely do the best my next question do you use sarcasm all the time i am the sarcasm queen would you ever bungee jump no why would we no i would never bungee jump okay what is my favorite drink my favorite drink has to be a pina colada especially with fresh pineapples like love what is my eye color my eye color is brown but it does look black and so is my hair also brown but it looks black it's very very dark brown you cry in public um it depends on the situation it depends on the day if i'm like that time of the month of course i'll cry in public like I'll be a drama queen like I do I do want to be a drama queen like that but other than that I do try to keep it for like until I get into my car so my makeup can run free you know because it runs next question movie or computer 
this is a good question because I am all always on my computer. I would say definitely computer. I like my Netflix, I like my YouTube. I actually live on YouTube. Where were you born? I was born in Tembisa. I am a Tembisa baby, just like your gold tuckies. I have been, I've only lived there for like two years of my um, adolescence and then we kind of moved around from there in Joburg. What is my favorite smell? My favorite smell is definitely Coco Chanel. I love how that Madame Mizal smells, but I would have to say it is a perfume that ages you. I did have it back in the day and I finished it quickly. It was amazing, it lasted long, the smell was so strong, but I don't recommend it for anyone who um, doesn't like a strong fragrance or for anyone younger than 30. I think it just ages and puts so many years on you. Do you joke a lot? Always. All the time. Like, I don't think people take me seriously, but I'm trying. Like. I love to joke, I like to keep things light-hearted, I do like to get my makeup all crinkled in the smile lines, like that is my, that's my vibe. I do all this work and then I smile the whole time and it just starts cracking, so. Summer or winter? Definitely winter. The furthest I've been from home, definitely Japan, I was so lucky to go last year, I had such an amazing time at that city. Oh, it's insane, absolutely insane. Ooh, this question though. Okay, next question, what's the first thing that I noticed about people when I first see them? Um, hmm. Okay, first thing I ever, ever, ever notice on someone is they smile, whether it's a genuine smile or if it's a fake one. Um, um, I'll also notice how they look if they're not smiling, like how they look at me. Okay, what are my hobbies? My hobbies, hmm, I don't, I don't know if I would necessarily say I have hobbies because I am trying to work my hobby into my job a little bit. My hobby is definitely makeup artistry, but um, I do have a job. I mean, a lot of people see me and they're like, oh, so you're just doing makeup? And it's like, no. While I was working in retail, I was not there for no reason. I was opening my business and getting things solidified, stabilized, so that I would be able to leave eventually and carry on with the business and still have my hobbies be my hobbies. When did I start my YouTube channel? Hmm, I started my YouTube channel six months ago, I would say, and I started really making YouTube videos and really being dedicated to it. It did take a lot of time to get to that point, but I felt like there were so many other things that were keeping away from just going ahead and doing it, but I, I just decided to do it last winter, feeling creative, feeling like this would be a really fun hobby to include in my routine and my daily routine to film and edit videos and to plan videos, so I've been really enjoying it. If you could collab with anyone right now, who would it be? I really love Kiyamu and Landi um, Gama. I hope I'm pronouncing everyone's names correctly, but I really love those two YouTubers. And I also love Z Online. She is amazing. I love watching her vlogs. I just, I like the vibe. I feel like they're the same age as me as well because I'm only 22. So I feel like we get along on that point, like me watching them and learning about them. And I just feel like they're just both a vibe. I love what they talk about. I love how natural they are. I love that they're just so real in individually. Okay, so I have two questions here that are very similar. One says, what is the hardest thing about being a YouTuber? What advice do I have for people that are wanting to start YouTube? So the first thing I think is the hardest thing about being a YouTuber is how expensive it is. Um, just coming out and being, just bringing out your personality to the table and just learning not to be so nervous or to um, just express yourself. It's hard to get on a camera and to put yourself on a YouTube video and post it, even on Instagram and it goes for Twitter. Like just putting anything that has to do with you online is very hard. But I feel like as soon as you get over that and you realize that everything is fixable with words and with apologies and things like that. So if you do make mistakes, just know that you will be fine life goes on people make mistakes so don't worry about that factor um when it comes to the hardest thing about being a youtube channel uh, or being a youtuber um it's it's something that everyone goes through i had the iphone 7 before this iphone x plus and it was amazing filming it has a, 
a platform for you to be able to edit and film on, which is the iMovie app. Um, you can either get it a Mac as well. It's actually easier to edit on a computer than it is on a phone, but I had to do it when my laptop went in for repairs. Last year, my computer just bombed up completely, so I had to you know go on the phone and use it but the hardest thing for me was finding music on apple and just transferring it to iMovie but i did get the hang of it i just decided to invest i think i invested like 20 bucks downloaded everything from itunes and just used it from there i definitely recommend you doing that but another tip i would say that people should follow is don't listen to all the youtubers that are like look for a niche and do this, do that, do that. Like just do whatever you feel comfortable doing. Um, I realized that making a niche and creating a certain box for yourself when you start a new YouTube channel is the hardest things for you to do because you have to consistently go back to that one specific thing instead of just, you know, opening yourself and just seeing what your viewers like and what you like personally doing and just finding a way to make that all meet because that's when your content becomes good content. Um, let's go into the next question. Next question is, how do I describe my fashion sense? So guys, I have to put my phone down for this. My fashion sense has changed so much from when I was in high school to now, I used to wear all the heels in the world and do the most dramatic vibes for fashion ever. But now my style's changed quite a bit. I've become more laid back. I would say I like clean cut um, looks, very crisp styles. So like I like my whites, my blacks, grays, but I would like to open the spectrum a little bit and introduce more color into my wardrobe. Um, although black is has been like my favorite, especially because you know, my buying options are very limited. I never really shop online, I've never shopped online. But when I do, I'll definitely show you guys that experience. It will be my first time ever, ever shopping online for clothing. And I'll show you guys all about it. But for now, I could definitely say, if you look on my Instagram and on my YouTube, um, I would definitely reference it as basics, you know. Oh, guys, we have come to the last question in this whole video. I can't believe it's the last question. But anyways, let's go for it. What do you want to be when you grow up? I would love to get degreed and just have that on my back finally once and for all. Um, I definitely would like to do it before I'm 26 though because by then I would like to start planning for other things in my life. I definitely want to have children at a certain time and I definitely would like to get that car that I would love, my dream home and everything sorted at a certain age but I don't put pressure on myself on when that will be because life expectancy for millennials is nice and high so I do not put my expectations too high for that and again it does not help my mental well-being putting too much pressure and putting solid dates in like 10 years from now. Other than that I would say my advice for a question I would say is take every day as it comes if that is what you need to do and what you'd like to do. A lot of people are pressured on planning because everyone else seems to be doing the whole 10 year, 5 year plan. But if that's not your style, do not do it. So that is all for my questions today. Thank you so much for joining me and listening to my get to know me tag. I felt so, so, so good doing this video. I hope you guys felt that it was interesting and that it was fun and I hope you guys want to ask some more questions down below if you do ask them below like it's all down there and if you loved this video please subscribe down below it's free please do it and of course like and comment down below if you like the video if you didn't like the video you can even press the dislike button that won't come for you I promise I definitely will be doing a human with Sheldon soon he loves doing the YouTube videos low-key so of course I'm gonna have him back and we're gonna answer a few couples questions and just live questions like a few live questions i'm not gonna make it too crazy long like this one was i like keeping my videos relatively short because i can't deal with watching super long videos uh, but that is just for now i'll definitely do like a long video for like a vlog but i would never do one for a sit down because do you guys really want to be watching like the whole time like 30 minutes of just thank you guys so much for watching i hope to see you guys next week thank you for always supporting me my 200 subscribers i know you guys are coming so please remember to subscribe and of course i will be doing a giveaway and i will be announcing what i'll be giving away very soon closer to the number so make sure you keep updated and of course i will see you guys very soon thank you so much for watching bye